I'm good. How are you? Good. I'm with these two fine gentlemen who are going through there. So we have one boat in the car yes, that you're sir. using. Hey, what's up guys, Sean here. So as you can see, we have got the kayaks out and we are fixing to head out on a kayak trip that I have been wanting to do for a long time. Today, we are gonna paddle the Itchituckney River. It's gonna be fun. Let's get it. Here we go. So, as I said, this is the Itchituckney River, and uh, it's crazy. I've lived here my whole life. And this is my first time paddling this river. And I can't really explain it to you. I've floated it, but I've never paddled it before. And uh, so today, I was invited by some buddies of mine to come and uh, paddle this river today. And I said, heck yeah, I've been wanting to do this. So it is a beautiful river through here. And their setup is really nice up there too. You can actually rent kayaks from them they have tandems or singles and uh, they'll also shuttle you too I think if you rent the kayak from them the shuttle is included uh, but if you bring your own boat the shuttle is I can't remember 12 or 15 dollars something not too terrible I don't think um, but then I think if you bring your own kayak um, I believe you have to pay like a launch fee or something also but all in all it's not super expensive and it's a beautiful paddle so we have decided i believe to um bypass the takeout point and we're going to paddle on out to the santa fe river and then paddle down to uh 129 bridge and uh that should be nice so that ends up turning this into a nine mile paddle so it'll be several hours but uh It'll be a lot of fun. Looking forward to it. Wow, this is absolutely beautiful. We got a little cave. How cool. Looks like the river's getting a little wider through here. I gotta hurry 
hurry up though, these guys are up there. I don't want to be holding them up. Little manatee right there. Well, you got it figured out. <laughs> Beautiful little lagoon area. If you wanted to, if you wanted to get up in there and swim some, that'd be a nice little spot right there to take a break and swim. It's not super deep. Really clear. Beautiful. There's manatees right there also. There's another one right there. how clear this water is. Absolutely beautiful. So I just went ahead and told those guys, don't wait on me. It takes so long to do the filming and stuff like that, and I end up holding people up. That's one of the reasons that I don't do a lot of backpacking and hiking and stuff with people, because for one thing, I'm slow. But on the other hand, I film everything. So filming is super slow too. So it's kind of frustrating for people sometimes when I'm filming everything and I'm going slow. All right, so we are at the midpoint landing now. Uh, if you don't want a shuttle, you can rent from them at the general store. They will bring you here and then you can use the tram and it'll take you to the midpoint here. And the midpoint you'll put in and go down to the last takeout and then you can hop on the tram again and come back up to the midpoint and uh, just keep doing that loop if you want to. Well, there's a nice size alligator up here. Not even a blink. He didn't even give me a blink. He couldn't care less. So this river in the summertime gets super busy with tubers. So they go tubing up and down this river and you can rent tubes and they'll shuttle you back and forth or you can use that tram. And uh, it's really nice because it's really refreshing. This river is, uh, I think it's like 72 degrees year round. So, uh, it's really nice, but it gets really packed with people also. So that's the only really downfall to it. But it's a beautiful float, and it's a beautiful paddle. So um, I have floated it, like I said. But this is my first time paddling it. But uh, I'm really enjoying it. This It's very uh, Jurassic Park-ish. Jurassic Park-ish, I think is the word I'm looking for. Prehistoric.
very prehistoric. So I just passed two more manatees back there. That puts my count up to six manatees for those of you who are wondering. Um, after we get out of this area, we may see some more as we get further down. Um, because like I said, we're headed towards the Santa Fe River. We still have a long way to paddle. But we're about to get to the, uh, the last takeout here. And we're going to... Just shoot past that and keep going. But yeah, it's been cool so far. Six manatees so far. We'll keep counting. How many you see? Just one or two? There's one there and there's one here. All right, so that puts my count up to eight manatees so far. <laughs> Golly, look how beautiful this water is. Wow, it's absolutely beautiful. That's a beautiful little spring head right here. Very, very nice. You know, it's amazing how the uh, scenery and the terrain changes here. Because in just in the course of a couple of hundred yards, it's changed from those... Uh, limestone cliffs to this swamp bottom here it's pretty crazy cool though there was another manatee back there it's a shame it had a big uh, big propeller scar across its back. I saw it just as I was going past it. A little too, too slow to get the camera. Number nine. <laughs> Okay, so I was incorrect. This up here is the last takeout spot. Um, that was just another place that you could put in back there. Uh, so this is actually the last takeout point. And they have little buoys up and everything to catch the tubers and stuff as they come through. So uh, I'll show you that. All 
right, no turning back now. We are past the last takeout. We got to head the 129 bridge now. And so that last takeout was roughly a third of the trip. So we still got two thirds of this trip to go. It's gonna be a long paddle. Now the thing is, the river should be pretty well empty from here on. Um, the majority of the people will take out at that last point. And so we won't have to uh, worry about too much river traffic now, I don't think. Now all we have to do is get past all these snags. I think we can do it. So now that we have come past that uh, bridge and train trussle, we are in the Three Rivers Estates area. And uh, so this is private property along here that people have bought and built houses on. And the nice thing about Three Rivers is when you buy a property in here, you get a key to all the gates that get you into all the boat ramps and swimming areas and stuff down through there. So that's pretty neat I guess uh that's pretty cool I guess um, it does mean that in this stretch of the river right here people who don't own uh, a property here can't access the river unless you're doing it the way I do it so I guess it's six one half a dozen or the other depends on how you feel about um, this part of the river being basically private access so um i don't know i guess i don't i don't know i don't really uh care for that so much but then on the other hand i guess if you owned a piece of property in here you'd think it was kind of cool so i don't know it's beautiful through here though. Boy, I'd love to love to own me one of these houses along this river, I can tell you that. Alright, so I just passed two more manatees and I went to get a shot of them. And the camera was dead. So that brings us up to uh, 11 manatees so far. Yes, it happened. Battery went dead. You'll have to take my word for it. Those yonder some fellas that probably thought I was dead. Y'all think I give up and went home? <laughs> All right, well, we got out and took a little break there and uh, got a drink, and we are back on the river. So I think we still got about a third of the way to go, but we are just now fixing to hit the Santa Fe River. And uh, we are going to hit the Santa Fe River on to 129. And the river's up now. It's it's pretty high. So I don't know what the current's going to be like out there. I, we have seen some boats, but 
with the river being so high, I don't know how many boats will be out there. But back on the water. I gotta get me a. I've gotta get a different kayak for trips like this. Um, this kayak is so slow. That I can paddle as hard as I want to paddle. I can't even touch those guys. I can't even get close to them. So either a different kayak or a solo canoe or something. I gotta get for longer trips. For longer trips, I've got to have something better than this because this thing is like. I know I've said it before, but it's like paddling a bathtub. A lot of people don't realize is there are different kayaks for different applications. This is a fishing kayak. This is not a touring kayak or anything like that. So this is not meant to be light or speedy. It's meant to be stable so you can fish off of it. And it's pretty stable, but it ain't light or speedy. So it is what it is. Flooded this place is. <laughs> that used to be their backyard back over there. You can see the trampoline and everything. You can't even get out to the docks now. All the the other docks are on the water. definitely move the bridge. There's no way the bridge is this far. Alright, there it is. There's the bridge. Now you'll see this river is way up. When Greg and I did our last camping trip, on the Santa Fe here. I'll link a card up here if you haven't watched it yet, but Sarah came and pulled right down to the edge of the river here and picked us up. There ain't no edge of the river there now. It's all underwater. So now we're gonna have to paddle up to the other parking lot up there. All right guys, so as you can see, we have made it. I really appreciate David and the guys for inviting me to go on this paddle. It was an awesome trip. So I started at the north entrance of It's Tuckney and I have paddled to 129. The last couple miles, I'm not gonna lie to you, was pretty tough. Um, it was a long paddle, but it was a lot of fun and I really encourage you to do something like this too. If you enjoyed this video, give it that big thumbs up for me. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next week.